Hi students, welcome back to my channel Influence Mathematics. Today here Influence Mathematics presents the second part of the chapter Human Eye and the Colorful World with the topic Refraction of Light Through a Prism. Yeah students, we are back here with the, with the topic Refraction of Light Through Prism. Before that let us learn what does, how does a prism look like. Prism has two triangular base and three rectangular surfaces okay now here you see the rectangular basis a b c d and, and a d e f and that angle d is the angle of prism because that angle is the inclined angle it can be acute angle it can be right angle it can be obtuse angle also if the triangular bases are equilateral that that prism is an equilateral prism and that will be having an inclined angle of 60 degree and the prism is made up of glass is made up of plastic also it can be made up of liquid also okay now when a ray of the light passes through the prism it reflects twice remember students twice once when it enters the prism and the second when it comes out of the prism so twice it reflects let us see here with an activity place a prism on the base of the triangular base sketch its outline then mark it mark the outline a b f place two pins on one side of the prism a b m and n place it on the other side you place two pins o and p such that the images of m and n are straight to o and p respectively then draw the line MN up to AB and draw the line OP up to AF. Then where it touches the surfaces, you join that, that two points. Okay. Now you have to draw the normal at AB on the point of incidence. You have to draw R. You have to draw the normal. And then you have to draw the normal at AF on S. Okay. Now increase those normals N1 then that increase n1 normal with the ray mn is forming the angle of incidence and then on the other side you increase the normal n2 yeah you increase the normal up to n2 and that n2 with the ray ps is forming the angle that is angle of emergent okay that angle is called emergent n1 is making angle of incidence and here n2 we can see n2 with ps is making an angle of emergent now this ray mn and the line ps these two have, will be increased to a point where they meet that point will be the point of deviation and the angle formed is called angle of deviation the angle formed by my and py here you can see that is called angle of deviation now let us see about dispersion of light the next topic dispersion of light yeah students dispersion of light means when for an example uh, when after the rainfall after the rain we can see the spectrum right we can see rainbow yes or no we can see rainbow in the sky so have you ever thought how this rainbow is formed? How this rainbow is formed? Rainbow is formed due to the phenomenon of this dispersion of light. The same thing which we have studied now in case of the prism, the, how the dispersion of light takes place. Here for an activity, we will take a prism, a cardboard and a white sheet. Okay? And we will place all these string in such a way that we will place the, first the cardboard in the direction of the sunlight and there should be a hole in the cardboard then we will place a prism so that through the hole the rays of the light falls on the prism and on the third place we will place that white screen white sheet okay now the sunlight will fall on the blackboard from the hole it will fall on the prism then we can see here the rays of light we can see some band of colors of light 
falling forming on the white screen and it is in the form violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red okay the, this band of colors and it can be remembered easily with the acronym vibgeo this sunlight is actually white light okay and this band of colors seven colors this this is a mixture of white light this all these seven colors together forms this white light okay so this phenomenon this phenomenon of splitting of the white light see the white light falls on the prism and had it has split it, split it into its constituent colors okay they have they have made up several angles you see several angles with the angle of this angle of this white light they have made up several angles some angles are small some angles are more so that means they have band little some band little some band maximum red has band less than the violet violet has band more okay so that's why they are visible very clear distinctly visible because their paths are different so this white light this white light falling on the prism this this phenomenon of splitting of the white light into its constituent colors is called dispersion of light this, and the band of color is called spectrum and this was first introduced by sir isaac newton okay so now we have cleared about the dispersion of light now we will learn how the rainbow is formed now rainbow you see as rainbow is also because of the phenomenon of dispersion of light so here also we need some prism so here water droplets is going to act as a prism water droplets of the rain which is available at the higher atmosphere will act as a prism now when the ray of the light falls on this water droplets the ray of light will split up into its constituent colors okay it will split up to its constituent colors and when it those constituent colors will come out of that water droplets we will find those splitting colors as a rainbow okay that beam of uh, that, that beam that band of colors we can find it as a rainbow and it looks very spectacular okay rainbow is always formed in the direction opposite to the direction of the sun okay and the appearance of rainbow in the sky is due to the dispersion of sunlight by the water droplets present in the atmosphere we can find several examples of dispersion of light just like water fountain okay then soap bubbles then cds we can find several examples so that's all for today let us recap the white light consists of seven colors namely violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red and the acronym can be remembered very easily with the vibgeo the phenomenon of splitting of white light into its constituent colors through a prism is known as dispersion of light and the band of constituent colors is known as spectrum and the third the formation of a rainbow and the beautiful band of colors observed in water fountain soap bubbles cd etc are all due to dispersion of light thank you be at home stay safe it's nirmal roy signing off